Hi everyone, I wanted to do a quick video on ripping uh, music CDs and uh, metadata. So I've got a big CD collection and I've been ripping all the tracks uh, to MP3 files. And most of the time that goes perfectly well and all the associated metadata is incorporated into each of those files, which means when I want to play any of those tracks on Plex, which is what I'm looking at here, you get all of the album art, which is generated by the metadata. And then when you go inside, you'll get all of the tracks in the correct order, etc. Without that metadata, Plex and other uh, media servers won't even see that title. So just to give you an example, I've just um, ripped an album uh, or an EP, I should say, by Hayley Steinfeld, and there's no metadata associated with it. Track numbers seem to work OK, but not the metadata. If you right click on the file name and then on properties and then the details tab, you can see all of the metadata is completely empty. Nothing, no album artist, album year, uh, track title, track name, nothing. So media players have got nothing to go on and so quite often won't even present that um, uh, music even though it's uh, uploaded on the server. So you can, you can change all of that manually, but if you had uh, two or three CDs to do that, that would take forever. I certainly don't want to do that, but I have found great piece of software called mp3 tag that works on windows machines uh, this is free to download so it's at mp3 tag.de there are two versions to support 32-bit or 64-bit machines i've got a 64-bit uh, machine so i've already gone ahead and downloaded that so let me just show you what that looks like so all you do when you open it you would need to add the directory where the music is that you want to edit the meta tags. So from the menu bar at the top, you would just press add directory and then navigate to that. So I have already done that. So this is on my Plex server. There's only four tracks. First, the most important thing is make sure you select all tracks. Otherwise, you won't be able to apply the metadata uh, correctly. And then you can on these fields on the left uh, apply common metadata like album artist, um, the album name, for example, and year, and then go and edit each of these um, individually for the track titles, which would save some time. Uh, but you can also click on the menu item at the top called Tag Sources. So if you left click on that and click Music Brains, this just wants to know the album name. So in this case, it's Hayes, and then the artist, which is Hayley. Steinfeld, once you've done that, hit next. That's going to pop up with a load of uh, options for uh, collecting the metadata. So I'm going to select one that's got the same number of tracks as mine, press next. And then once you get the pop up, you can see already it's found the correct album art. You can see there on the uh, top right. And then you've got these two windows. All you need to do is make sure they line up. So the window on the left represents the uh, directory where your music's um, stored. And on the right is the meta uh, data that it's going to apply. So make sure the file names all line up, which they do. So then all you need to do is press OK. That's writing the metadata, it just takes a few seconds. There we go, so that's done. So now if I click on any one of these tags, you can see it's got the, uh, the correct title, the artist, the album name, the year, the track number, and the album art at the bottom. So last thing is press the save icon. Don't forget to do that or it will be undone. So here we go, click save. Now if I go back into my Plex server and I get it to scan my library files again, you can see up there it's scanning. So now I should be able to have a little hunt around. So there you can see the album's appeared. Uh, the metadata's generated a nice uh, album art cover. And if I click on the name of the album, you can see there are the four tracks. So really useful, uh, very quick way of doing it. Uh, it doesn't happen too often, but when it does, rather than do it manually, uh, you can do it using um, MP3 Tag Editor. Anyway, I hope that helps. If it does, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you know when uh, I drop a new video.